Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Chef Life. This is episode 20. Last time out, we got into the Al Forno uh, DLC pack and we have unlocked pizzas. It's going to be on the menu come tomorrow. We've got the onion soup. We're going to keep the beef carpaccio because of how easy it is to manage and get through. And then, of course, that brand new Hawaiian pizza. Those three will be on the menu tomorrow. But before I go crazy and start adding in new recipes, there's one new one that we unlocked a while ago that has been sitting waiting to be practiced. That's the pasta with spicy tomato sauce. We will learn that one tomorrow so we can get through it on the menu and then prepare to unlock new recipes following that. Depending on how things go with the Hawaiian pizza, uh, we may get through another pizza in this early stage and then kind of go from there uh, and getting back into those restaurant level uh, dishes that we were progressing through but also at some stage uh, our our friend who is out sick today or was out sick uh, on on this previous day here anyway uh, Kasim will will have to finish his upgrades as well but we have a new person coming into the kitchen well tomorrow I believe so I can't wait to have their introduction here because we're gonna go from well sort of one but really two up to three chefs in the kitchen and man oh man that should make things uh go a lot smoother a request in the comments a little while ago which happened to happen while i was on my vacation and and uh, obviously rather busy and not here able to film things uh actually a really valid question in the comments and that was when i have new recipes I could not speed up through those or at least not as much uh, to show off what the new recipe is like and so I'm gonna try to do that here and spend a bit more time on the the prep of new recipes in terms of the content coverage as opposed to the night where we're kind of just flashing our way through uh, seven ingredients I have all seven already so we are Ready to get on with this one. We are gonna start with making some dough. So dough workstation, get everything placed. Add some flour while that is uh, doing its thing. And it looks like we're also gonna have a second before that dough is ready to go anyway. So let's pop out of here and see what would be next. Uh, that is making the pasta, that is cooking the pasta. And uh, there we go. Here is some other steps we can work on. Looks like we might need roughly all three of those, but we'll make sure that the green uh, thumbtack is kind of the important thing that I finally learned on this, on what to follow. And those all have the green thumbtack, so we're good. All right, back over to the uh, dough workstation. I want to get that flattened out two times to bring it in down and then we need to check the dough we're looking at it's already perfect so we will take that okay and now we need to make the penne yeah yeah yes am I in the right spot looks like the right one yeah pasta machine let it good Rotate the joystick. I couldn't imagine doing that with the mouse. I suppose it would work. It certainly could be a mouse and, and keyboard kind of game, but uh, if you ask me, I would very much prefer the you know the the game pad. Uh, but I suppose I've played with game pads for a very long time and. I'm very accustomed to them. If you hadn't played with one, I could see there being complications with that. Okay, it looks like we need this boiling first. Not that I need it to be done perfectly. Okay, I've already got the salt. Eventually, I need a saucepan for the sauce. I think the sauce might be separate. Do I need the pasta? I don't need the pasta to make the sauce. That is boiling. Get that started. And we need to get 
seasoned. Not enough salt. That should do it. Just the one. There you go. And that's going awfully quick. Uh, we are gonna do what with this? Anything? We gotta stir it as we go along. Uh, add in a sliced chili pepper at the start and then cover it. We do need to make sure that it gets stirred. But I'm guessing this pasta is just about done. It is done. Get that out of there. Throw that up here. Actually going back. Yes, all the warmer. That's how you want that. Okay, let's go ahead and stir this. We have what we need for that last phase when it's uncovered. Everything going smoothly enough. Alright, we will need the saute pan. Okay, finishing up that phase, we can now remove the lid. Go ahead and add in the chopped garlic. Go ahead and stir it again. And I think that'll just about get us to the point where that is complete for you for this saute pan sauce first. Okay, and then the pasta will get added first phase, and then that's that's it, right? Doesn't need to be heated up or anything. No, it does not. I think we're okay on the stir part. It'll just about need stirring again, but it'll be done by that point. Okay, we got it. Uh, I suppose I sh probably should have just taken it because we need... Oh, there's four sauces that came out of that. Gotcha. started on that. Turn that rage off. Just because I'm going to throw you up there on the warmer. Grab our pasta. The pasta is ready. Phase one. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the problematic part. You can put that up on the warmer warmer the Hello. pasta you can only get one in at a time so there's going to be that factor uh, and then Good morning, chef. so it's going to take up a lot of warmer space and then you're going to still have to do this final preparation uh, it's nice that you can get four sauces kind of pre-made and, and sitting on the warmer at least get one final stir in before Looks like it might have gone past that halfway point, but that is ready. I don't know why I did it that way. I can't even put it down. There you go. Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! There we go. Before I go, turn that off. Adele is ready to help out. I think our new guy is here. Plate this one. That's gonna take a minute. Probably should have gotten Adele started on some sort of prep, and it looks like the new guy is at the door, waiting to uh, speak with me. I'm eager to get to work, chef. Uh, there could be a bunch of new plates, but I have not gone in yet to uh, to learn them. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's see. That is not the minimum standard though, so we're going to need at least a couple of these guys. There we go. Oh, go fancy with the sauce. Can you fill in the middle? I doubt it. That's just going to spread. Oh, we're too fancy pants for proper sauce, huh? very much not going to cover our grounds. Uh, we're going to need additional something or other. We'll have it go inside out. There you go. And one more distraction. Excellent. 
Okay, we have the tomatoes. How do these tomatoes want to go in? Will that fit inside? Let's find out. No, it would sit on top. Go ahead and cancel that one. Oh, this is optional anyway. Um, so let's not go crazy. Let's drop a couple of these guys in the middle. Okay, same with these optional items. I think you gotta go. Oh, there we go. It's a beautiful flower. Alright, and that's done to the pasta. So, next step do we want uh, a color palette on here? Yes, it's lacking some green. And that should do it. I want to have the bouillon available, or do we want to make the onion soup and cheese? No, you know what? That that's not gonna sit on prep. Set. That will sit on prep. Okay, chef. All right, that'll just about get our first two dishes uh, prepared, and I believe this is the new guy. It's not Jean, right? Jean and Giro almost. Almost look alike. Jiro's obviously younger, but there's just enough room for confusion between Jean and Jiro. Hello, Chef. I haven't been part of a team in such a long time. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. But that feeling will go away once I get to work. I become very focused when I'm in the kitchen. All right, welcome. Yeah, we have Adele at work here. I, uh, there is Kasim cleaning up. And what are we off to? <laughs> what happened to the new guy? Uh, okay, we've got some mess to clean up. That's not where this goes. There's the new guy. Jiro is making the extras. And I love that we're going to have that balance. There's three different roles. And now we have three different ways to uh, take care of that. Chef and advertising agency is offering to promote our restaurant using viral videos. They'll take care of the promotion if we pay them, of course. Maybe I should learn a dance or two. All right, so cleanup of the new dish is taken care of. We are ready to switch things over, get rid of that. We have our onion soup. Or that, I guess we'll find out. Chef. We'll get, we'll get one made and see what happens first. I suppose I could probably check on that first, but sometimes the uh, instructions don't match the reality. We've already noticed that, at least on a couple of occasions. Can't remove it, can't place it in the fridge. That is a no go. Our customers will be blown away today, believe can me. Can I put it on a burner? No. Can I just stick it in here and hope that it's still there later? Probably not. Probably not. So that's that's gonna be an obvious early point for one of them is to start preparing multiple pizzas for us. I think we're going to be spending a lot of our time on the day itself cooking pizza. It's mid-afternoon, and we are, we are almost ready to go. What else can we have prepped here? Uh, Adele, we can make some additional no of problem, these guys. Chef. And it looks like we can I'm on double it, that Don't up as well or you'll miss it. and have it ready to go. 
Might as well since there is time. These guys are ready. So we can switch them up. Get rid of the saute pan. I don't think I needed to prepare a second of those. I think one of those becomes three, which means we already had enough to make 12. <laughs> we've, we've doubled that, but uh, that's okay. So we're ready well in advance of the new day, but it's also too late to prep a new uh, recipe. So we'll just have to wait for tomorrow for that one. And I'm just gonna bide my time and then we'll start our day. Adding an extra staff member in the kitchen means that one of them will always be signed and I'm gonna rotate it, but of course we're gonna start the new guy, uh, Jiro, who comes in at level 10 already, by the way. So he's already pushing towards where Adele will be quite soon. He'll get that XP uh, and get up there. So actually Adele and Jiro are the most advanced. It's Kasim who is now uh, a bit behind the others, but we'll, we'll get him leveled up and caught up to them soon enough so Jiro does come in uh pretty well off but he's the new guy so he's he's gonna wash dishes wow our, our pizza is still here surprisingly enough uh quite shocked that it stuck around which means actually in the future we could prep two pizzas beforehand uh let's get the power on as Apparently, the temperature has to get all the way up to 450 before we can uh, use it, and just getting it too red does not do the trick. Two twenty-nine. Yeah, here's here's the mistake I had made before. So when good, you look at the Jeff. bottom right corner, power, it's all the way on, it's lit. It's working fine, but the temperature needs to reach 450 so that that is the trick that I had kind of missed out on previously now I've got them preparing the more advanced stuff where let's see that's what this is right yeah you're looking at three prepared onion soup and cheese uh, which is already the step beyond that and all you need is those guys to go with it so actually that's really incredibly easy for them to make doesn't take very long at all three hundred an unable to go to higher drive. without direct heat okay that's so we want to move the fire Double serve, and we'll get them going. Uh, they are both ready to go now. Adele was waiting longer. Let's go ahead and get Chef. more soups made. That'll put us up to six on the day. Uh, let's also Chef. go check in on this. We're good, but let's check in here. We're looking 450. Excellent. Move the fire. And we'll move that over there. So we are ready to make a pizza. Let's make a pizza. Uh, can we keep it on the warmer though? Very much cannot, really. No keeping it on the warmer kind of thing. Yikes, that's that's rough. Gotta make to order. How are we doing? That's almost done. Additional pizzas, but very much in the way, so let's get them over here that's four pizzas ready that is plenty they can prep more as we need as we only have so much counter space i need a challenge the table ordered here's what they want all right that's one and a very simple job for our other two issues um we are i don't know what's the status now Oh, the 450 is already ready. Awesome. So that holds, apparently. Or at least for a while.
Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oops. I never heard it tick that it was ready. There are still A pluses, so we didn't burn it. Good. Oh, hey, give orders. And see, there you go. They're technically ready. They grab all three well at the same done, time. Chef. We, we, nice we got work. that there in time. That's good. Uh, now, how is this 450 is already good? So that oven is staying the way it needs to. We did the rotation. That looks uh, we delicious, have three more chef. pizzas ready to go. We've already been through how many customers? We just did a table of three and a table of one. So that's four done. There's four more there. Uh, that'll be two more entering the restaurant here at some phase also now that i have three staff i think we are ready to expand the restaurant out a bit and take on more daily customers I do feel we can handle that okay we're gonna throw a pizza in the oven Okay, I still have two more pizzas left. There's only two more customers to go, so we're fine there. We only have one. Uh, so I hope our customers enjoyed this service. Wasn't that just eight? Was there two at the beginning that I completely forgot about? Achievement of Dream Team, that must be the uh, addition of Jiro having, you know, a full kitchen staff together. And with a little assistance of hanging on to it and getting through the rest of the day, uh, taking the leftovers and cooking them up as well, packaging them up, the extra XP has pushed the onion soup a bit further along, but it has also given me those two extra pizzas we needed to have the Hawaiian pizza done in just one day. Set of things to package up, put away. I still have no idea if there is a discernible difference between cleaning up at the end of the night and not cleaning up at the end of the night for what the clean cleanliness would be the next day. But actually, now that we have a full complement of staff, and there are three of them, one of them will always be assigned to cleaning. So really, I could afford to not clean up and, and know that the place will still be spotless uh, in the coming day, where before you had to always rotate off. You had to pull somebody off of it fairly quickly. But while I don't have OCD in any discernible way, I have traits and I like to finish things. I really do like to finish things. And it feels awkward to me to not <laughs> do my cleanup. You use it, you clean it. So with that, the Hawaiian pizza is done and taken care of. We have the uh, carpaccio, of course, which is just a, a handy one to have right now. But with that pasta and spicy tomato sauce learned, we will be able to uh, put that on the menu for tomorrow. Not necessarily the Hawaiian pizza. It's actually more complicated. It takes longer. So uh, I think we're in for a very, very quick day, but we're going to learn a new recipe. Well, I don't have absolute certainty on this one, but it seems to be up the right alley and probably is the couple of correct recipes that we're going to need to finish up Kasim's missions. Uh, we, we need to 
help with a mussel casserole or seafood pasta. And if you look at these two, I think these are the two. So mussels, marinara, french fries, and then the spaghetti with clams. That's a seafood pasta. That is a, seems like a mussel casserole. So uh, these are the two that are probably gonna get us through what we need to do uh, in regards to Kasim. And so we'll learn one and then probably the other on the following day. Another day, another recipe, and we just got to get through it. Uh, we want to get the new recipe on the menu leveled up today quickly because it doesn't pay well. And we need the clams. There we go. Six, seven ingredients. Chopping board is up first with those three in need. some fries. I suppose we could throw those on the uh, warmer while we wait. Saute pan to make the uh, mussels. I would call that a soup, but somebody else would take issue with that. Do we need a hot pan? No, we do not. So place. And let's start. Uh, you need some seasoning though. What do you need? Black pepper. That's going to be ready soon, and that's three of them. Let's get these fries thrown in there. Definitely something you needed time. Wow, that was f so fast, though. Kidding me? That's the fastest thing I think we've ever made, dish-wise. Which did the entire thing in, like, two minutes. Looks okay. Can we do better though? Can we do better? I, I'm gonna go with a no on this one. I think that that kind of is what it is other than the white plate being uh, something with me and white plates. I just do not care for them. I am not a fan. I feel like we could learn another recipe today. Don't you? And oh man, was that easy. It's still morning, nobody's here, and we know that the prep for the day is going to be done rather quickly. So we could focus on altering the restaurant, increasing the capacity, or we could try to get that second dish done. A layout that is going to expand the capacity. Now that's 15 or 20. I think we should start with 15. All right, that's 15. Now, what's this gonna look like from Hello? here? We were locked in at 10. <laughs> we were locked in on 10 um, for the day apparently already. So we'll see, we'll see the impact on the next day. So today is just a day of 10 and look at that. The afternoon's barely starting. They have already rotated, so that's good. Chef upset, two days in a row of cleaning, but he will be part of the service tonight. And let's get this on the go, huh? Uh, we don't need to make the soup. We can. We, we now know that we can go straight into the evening and make it there. I can make this myself, sure so that's thing. easy enough to get. There's eight of those prepped. And then right there's six of those prepped. So right through those, and I feel like now I can stand around and maybe do some shopping. Sure. I'm 
nothing. <laughs> I would not want to sit in those chairs. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Uh, that Palermo one is <laughs> okay ish. That's kind of a cool looking table right there. You know what? Let's let's. I don't think I think it clashes at the moment, but we'll we'll get it in there and see uh, what it's like. Warmers. So you get sauce ready with four and or eight of them, right? So you're ready to go for the whole evening on the sauce. And then you just start okay. making as many of the uh, pastas as you can until you run out of either space or cookware. Even after all that, I still have time. I still have plenty of time. So we're gonna see if we can learn the spaghetti and clams before the end of the night. So let's see, spaghetti and clams, where are you hiding? Huh? There it is, yeah, seafood pasta, as I suspected. Grab all the ingredients, and that should just about do what you gotta do. made it looks like yes we're gonna easily get two recipes learned in one day And so our first table is asking for the one thing that's not uh, ready to go. Here are some soups. So we do have some soup ready to go, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit until we've got these guys done cooking. Uh, so we will have to sit on this one for just a moment, but uh, we've got three more soups getting ready and we'll have to kind of wait for some space on the, the warmer, but it, it'll be okay. I don't have anything to do, Chef.
all the space we have on the uh, warmer at the moment. these plated ready to go might as well we have time this is such an unusual place to be in but I we know have time I on can our help hand. you chef now with the pasta just a few seconds behind the other dishes can be explained more of uh, there's only so many hands, so what can you do? Uh, and make a second trip. But we are in very, very good shape at this point. And now it's time to start thinking about prepping something, something more. Uh, and what more to, to prep in the short term. We only have one pasta right now, so let's get uh, some more pasta made. Right away. No cookware available. Already falling into trouble traps with that one. I can't start cooking without the right utensils. I don't have the utensils I need to do no, that. You chef. don't. Okay. Well, we have what one pasta. Let's take it. Let's take a sauce. Let's get that next one going. There comes the order, but let's go ahead and while we're still waiting, get another one of these guys You're plated. Taking. pastas which we are working on that is maybe to that little bit burnt point not sure but we're still okay definitely didn't burn just got close and we need let's see the other pasta a couple dishes taken care of Heat is involved here, so let's get these first couple out. Wait, did we need two pastas for this one? Or just one? Let's play it's anyway. high time my talent was put to use, Chef. I think we needed two, that's why I'm holding on to two, right? Five is fine. We are out of pastas. We have one pasta. Oh gosh, that's the end of the night. How, do, how does that keep happening so fast? I think we're not done. We are. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, a very, very, very good couple of days. We learned three new recipes in just two days. Uh, we hammer our way through the evening. We get a new member of staff. And while his scores aren't great at the moment, he'll get there. He will get there just fine. And our profit is increased greatly. Our expenses are still just shy of 200. It's, it's been averaging in the 180s, depending on uh, the various ingredients we need for the day. But keeping things balanced on our responsibility score is putting us at about 185 on a daily. So to make 405 means we are... Uh, we're, we're turning a very good profit, 200 plus daily, and that's definitely making life easier for uh, new opportunities for us. And we're very soon going to be start taking taking in new customers as well. Our buffer zone could almost instantly jump from that 10 to that 15, and as easy as things are right now, that should be 
pretty easy to do. The only problem with five new customers means more product will get used, more orders will be had, and if we're only doing three, well, you see where that's going. Five more orders means we will start using things up, but the team, outside of the team, is at such a level that they can prepare things to a pretty advanced stage for us and we're just finishing it off and, and plating them for the most part. So uh, it's starting to look like a pretty professional kitchen at that. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.